Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> Okay, so this is a really interesting performance by Sunil Hichauhand on uh, Indian Idol in on six, season six, and uh, the the interesting part comes right at the end. Okay. Um, but she is a guest uh, oh, nice. performer here, so well, I, it's yeah, fully fleshed out. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. That's all I know. Oh no, the judges are because I don't know season six. Maybe they bring him out just sort of to inspire the other contestants kind of I thing. I think so. It's like a workshop type of thing. She's one of my favorite singers out of, uh, in the Indian music industry, for sure. Because she can do this, but then she's also a fucking rock star in like live yes, performances. Yes. She's a joke. Well, I do think a lot of her magic it's like in in the versatility that she possesses and i yep. think it, this is just another of those uh boxes chapters that she's able to just hit in the head he's like a composer i think malik oh goodness I'm sorry, I would be taking notes. Yeah, I, th I think... I would be taking notes because obviously these are the things that... I think that his name is... Uh, I think his surname is... Anu Malik? Yeah. Probably. I think that's his name? Yeah. Right. Uh, I've seen him on credits before. <laughs> so I don't really him... know if... Like, we've seen him everywhere, but like, we don't really know if like... Because uh, we see his name in credits a lot more yes. than we see his face. That's, that's, that's actually correct. Yeah. Um, what is really interesting, so what you're seeing here, it's like a really cool development and choices of vocally, uh, uh, vocal expertise. So, and somebody who has settled into the refinery of the softness that the song requires. So again, if I was, if I was watching this, yes, this is like a live also, master it, class. It is a lifetime opportunity to be able to see, you know, the artists yes, that you kind so of grow up. Close. Yeah, it's really yeah. from real, like. Yeah, yeah. Quite young. It's so crazy that she can do so, so many different styles. I love that they added the dancers in. You see those choices. Everything has a purpose too. Definitely. Oh, so I presume she's one of the judges because one of the chairs is empty. Ah. You know, like in this shot oh, here. Yeah, I see, I see. It's empty, so maybe she maybe sort she of... she was part of the panel. Yeah, she's probably part of the panel and then she's sort of like, look, kids. You know, I'm not a joke, but you know, she's, she's probably one of the most humble people. But like, I think sometimes they do do that to sort of, you know, this is a what well, performance. You know that that's very, that's, that's just very uh, tailored made for like India because like no other. Well, yeah, that's true. Sometimes, sometimes I put your money where your mouth is, bruv. That's right. And, and, and I think that's, that's really unique, de unique yeah. to, to dedicate it to the Indian in industry. It also speaks to the levels, man. Like it does. the level of singing that they're at. Also, there is, I know the only other that I can possibly think that do something similar like that on, on like live television singing competitions, it's um, in Spain, in The Voice, they, the judges sometimes they do like this um, work around, like again, like workshops, but they work with the contestants yep. on stage. Yeah, it's always like a duet. It's like a collaboration type yeah. of thing. Uh, and but a lot of them do really well commercially as well. Yes, because they're they're really good. I mean, you're I mean you're you're working hand yeah, in hand with yeah award winning with, artists yeah. basically. But in this particular case, it, this is actually really clever yep. because from a you're getting to to study to understand the ins and outs, the technical aspects of the performance as well as the singing aspects of it, like what is required for certain songs and how to. It, it, 
manage your energy as you are carrying the performance too. It's really intrigued, but it's also, I mean, I don't want to throw shade at any other industries or anything like that, but like, uh, you know, one that comes to mind is like, you know, in the West, you do have these kind of like shows, you know, the same, the idol sort of uh, industries and stuff, but you'll never see any of these like big names that they bring in uh, do a show that it isn't in the finale, that is more like a workshop or a duet or let's, you know, let's, Let's even push themselves to try and do something in which they showcase some of their their, their versatility, their ability, what they're known for. Uh, they're never gonna take these shows as a uh, bless you. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> as a sneeze like a woman. <laughs> sorry. <Achoo! Like, laughs> apparently, it's bad for you. It's the thing you. is, like, it, the doctor said it. Yeah, but it's it's funny because I thought it was gonna come out, but it, it didn't no. fully come out. Sorry Anyways, I, I don't think you're gonna find this type of stuff in any other shows. No, or I don't think so either. Oh, I don't know what Yarian means. Hope maybe it means a hug or love. Not gonna lie, that would be pretty fucking mad. That's enough. She is one of the the artists that we do when I watch live. Oh yeah, um, that's enough for me to be like, wow. And I, I guess like everyone is. You felt the song so much. My singers go dekh raha They were learning a lot from that little song that you have sung. Inko pata lag gaya ki hume kya karna chahiye to become the next Indian idol. It's not easy. Yeah, I think I think okay. So it is more like a, you know this is an example of sort of performances mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, it's interesting as well because I think it probably gets undermined how sort of nerve wracking this also is for the sort of these big monster artists, these titans. Yes. Um, it, it is performing not only in front of like the next generation, but it's also performing in front of their significant others, friends, no, other people they look up in the industry. It's also setting their own value. It's, it's yeah, their yeah, it's own like you're, image. You're putting your stock. That's right. At you risk. know, yeah, at risk. Uh, obviously, when, again, that, that's what I mean. It shows the level that they're at. Because if what you've made a career in singing, um, you've nothing to hide. You're a singer. This is what you do your best. This is what you're an expert on. Mm -hmm. I understand that approach. But uh, I'm telling you, this in, you know, this, you know, there's industries all over the world that really do sort of protect, preserve at all costs. Um, but it is super nice to see, I think, Anu Malik um, say things like that because... Even they need it sometimes to hear it. Like, it's funny when you talk to some of these artists, we've never <laughs> spoken to Sunidhi or any other sort of many artists from the Indian music industry, but from other industries. And uh, you'll be so surprised that uh, sometimes there's doubt, you know, there's self-doubt. Uh, they think their time has passed or they haven't, haven't hit their peak yet or there's nothing, you know, they just, they have some things to learn, but they, they think like... Uh, they're not perfect, you know? So it's awesome to hear that type of, uh, hear that interaction. And also, dude, she is probably one of the best performers I think we've ever seen. It is, this is what singing is all about. Give her a big hand, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Sunidhi, you are a versatile singer. You know all of But your special the Western language, is a special place So I think... Again, I don't speak any fucking Hindi. I do apologize. But I think it, that is genuinely the consensus when it comes to Sunidhi. She is the most versatile singer. Yes. Or one of the most versatile singers uh, in the Indian music industry. And I and I and it's it's fair to argue she's got a lot of really cool like it's it's known already for for her Western like influences on stage when it comes to the dancing when yeah. it comes to being a rock star to to being an an absolute persona. She's also classically on, trained. But she's also classically trained, and then she adds both of those vocal choices that take years upon years to master. One, imagine two, um, and brings them into this delicate pieces and. Uh, it heightens the things that the song is naturally good at, and then it offers something new. Have we heard her speak before? Her speaking voice? No, I don't think we I don't have. I think we've heard her speaking no. voice. Look, every kind of song is difficult. But I'm happy that from the Western style, people appreciate it and accept it. And I'm very happy that 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 I'
So they are quite very similar to yeah, her, very similar. To her singing voice. And they, they, there seems to be a lot of emphasis. That, but if anyone could kind of let us know what they're talk, talking about, but I do hear the word being Western sort of taken into about. Because also she is one of the ones, like she said, that Enrique Iglesias collaboration. She really broke through in many movies yes. that did break through a lot, many, many uh, borders and here in the, in, you know, in the UK and the US. Um, so I would presume that she's like one of the most famous Western known from India singers yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't Sing even really know mean. if that makes sense but no, yeah. but I, I, I think I'm people get know what I mean yes. um, also technically speaking in terms of singing she is a very uh, uh, intriguing mix of both mm -hmm. um, let us know perhaps if you'd like us to check out any more performances like this anything from Sunil Hichauhan is more than welcome but also any singers from any other industries um, I know India is a, such a vast and ginormous industry do apologize if we again we are making wrong presumptions we are learning as we go and I really, really do appreciate everyone that's watching Correct. Um, goodbye thank you very much